Hey PJs, welcome back to another video. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe down below to become part of my PJ squad, which is always awesome. And as always, comment down below what you guys would like to see next. Or if you just want to hop down there and say hello, I'll be answering as many comments as I can. So today I am reviewing Blue's Kawaii Slimes again. I did review her shop about a year ago, maybe sooner, I can't really remember. But if you guys know her, she's also known as Miss Eddie Blue, and she is the nicest human being I think I've ever met met we talk at least once a week over email and it is one of the highlights of my day because she's just the sweetest but you guys she wanted me to review her again just to kind of get just like a good opinion on some of her stuff and I am so so grateful because she, you guys are just gonna see she loves spoiling people and I have been so excited to finally get her package and I'm showing you guys everything pretty briefly because there's like a ton of stuff. But honestly, I felt so spoiled. And the awesome thing is, is that like standard orders get all of this except for the clay and the marshmallow beads. Because she did ask me if I wanted those. But like, you guys, she spoils all her customers. There's so much stuff. There's so much about slime care. There's an activator bottle. There's a second activator bottle. There's activator, like, dust. Oh my goodness. Everything was so nice. She even sent me chocolate. And you guys, chocolate is a huge weakness of mine. I'm honestly surprised it's not gone yet because I'm, I'm so bad with chocolate. And honestly, I've never tried either of the chocolates here. So I'm so excited to try them. Mm. Like, you guys, I've been doing so good. I've been trying to diet and I've been working out and stuff. And this is just going to break it. I don't know if this, this is the universe telling me I need to eat it or if I'm just being crazy. But they look so good. I also want to say a huge thank you to her for being so generous and sending me marshmallow foam beads. She knows I love those types of slimes. So, of course, she had to send some. And you guys, I think I'm going to use them in my upcoming restock because marshmallow foam beads are the bomb. But anyways, these are the slimes she sent. Most of them came just in this clear plastic wrap. I've, honestly, I don't think I've seen that before. But this was like a DIY kit and it actually comes in a bag with eggs and stuff. Like, how cute. But anyways, this first slime is called Avocado, which is a DIY clay slime, and it comes with so many extras. You guys will see that the little extra baggies that she sends with all the slimes are so generous. There's so many Fimos and sprinkles and glitters. So pretty, and it also came with an adorable avocado charm. And then, of course, the top is like a two-toned green layered slime with also a green layer on the bottom. And the clay did not mix at all, which is awesome because you guys know it is summer and she's from Canada. So I'm so happy to see that it didn't mix. That is awesome. I also wanted to say that even after it mixed, it would it like didn't need any activator, which is stunning. I love that. I will say there is a tiny little detail that I would want to touch on. As you guys can see, there are like a ton of add-ins, like I said, and those glitters do seem to kind of poke out of the slime, like, because usually clay-based slimes don't like to hold glitter for some reason. No idea why. It's just, it's, it's, it's a dumb thing. But anyways, kind of, some of the glitters do like to pop out and come onto my hands or on my table. So I would say hold back on those glitters. And other than that, it would be perfect. But anyways, when the slime mixes together, it becomes such a poppy clay slime. I'm not sure how else to describe it, but I swear I can feel each individual air bubble in this. It feels so good. And you guys will notice with the bubble pops, they're just different. I'm not sure if it's a different clay or if it's a different glue or both. They honestly felt different than what I've ever felt before. And I'm not familiar with what Canada has for supplies, but I love it so much. It inflates a ton. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of avocado, but this looks exactly like avocado spread. Like, to the tea and it smells like green apple which honestly I was expecting like a super artificial green apple scent but it smells exactly like fresh granny smith apples and honestly now I want one but it's so good this one definitely gets five out of five pajamas it's so perfect
So this next slime is called Boba Kitty. It is a thick and glossy slime scented like grape candy. So I did want to highlight the stickers here because she did want an opinion on like the layout and how they looked and everything on the containers. So I personally like this one the most, which is why I chose to highlight this one. But if you guys um, would like to share your opinion down below on the stickers as well, where you think the stickers should be, what looks best, things like that, that would be awesome. But anyways, I also wanted to show the little add-ins for this one because the Boba Kitty charm is the cutest thing ever. It also came with little stars, sprinkles, more glitters, and some pom-poms, which a lot of slime shops don't use. I think this is only the second time I've ever seen them used, so I think that is awesome. I also love the two-tone purple effect that this slime has. I've seen quite a lot of purple slimes that have this like two-tone look to it. I'm not sure if it's like a type of paint or what it is, but like I really like it because it kind of looks like you're mixing two different tones of slime together, but then like if you let it sit, it turns more bluish. It's so hard to describe, but it looks so pretty. I also love that the stars and the glitters give it kind of a galaxy look to it. I think that looks so cool. And honestly, like the Boba Kitty and Space look vibe kind of thing that it's giving off works. It honestly works perfectly. And I love that. I also want to say that the scent pleasantly surprised me. I thought it would smell kind of like grape Jolly Ranchers-ish because you know that's a grape candy but honestly it smells like grape soda and I love that because grape soda is so good. I know a lot of people don't really like grape soda but I'm one of those people that loves it. So I did want to say that this is a very glossy slime but I wouldn't call it a thick slime. It's definitely more of a cereal milk semi-thick slime. It's a little jigglier and a little thinner than a cereal milk but it still is semi-thick if that makes sense. I'm not really sure if something happened to it on the way to me or if it was just kind of like this but in my personal opinion it's not a thick slime um, but I do like it this way. It was a pleasant surprise to see it as a more like a cereal milk texture and because most of the time a lot of boba slimes will be super thick and honestly it kind of gets a little repetitive but with this one it was definitely a nice change to see it like this even if it wasn't intentional so i did like it of course i would say if you want to keep it a thick slime to just tweak the recipe a little bit to make it thicker but if you want to take my advice i would leave it as a cereal milk you guys let me know down below what you guys think as well but i personally think i would leave it like this I would say either way to just mess with the recipe just the tiniest bit because it does leave some residue on me and it definitely is a notable difference. Like I can feel it on my hands and I honestly I forgot to show you guys but it was kind of leaving residue in between my fingers. You know how some slimes do but I would thicken it up a little bit and I think that would change it just so that there's not residue but it would still have an awesome texture to it. So other than that I did love this slime but I'm going to give it four and a half out of five pajamas just because of that residue. So the third slime I'm reviewing is Disney Dole Whip, which is a cloud cream DIY slime scented like actual pineapple Dole Whip. And this is one of the other stickers she uses. I think I like this one more than the other warning label, but I do like the position of the last one better, if that makes sense. But anyways, this slime is like a nice pastel yellow color. It also comes with like little Mickey charms and stuff and sprinkles and stuff added in but you also get to add your own as you'll see me add and then there's a little clay thing to add but I did want to show you guys the base it's definitely one of those old time cloud cream textures if you guys know what I'm talking about I've talked about it before but I think that not too long ago the cloud cream texture changed in the slime community and it's more of a clay heavy almost cloud dough texture but with more instant snow if that makes sense um but honestly, I love to see slimes that are still kind of the old texture. It's really hard to explain, but it's it's nice. But anyways, like I said, it comes with glitters and sprinkles and stuff to add. And I love the add-ins. Honestly, for the most part, for other Dole Whip slimes, they kind of give off the same vibe as cereal milks in that like sense that you really have to have something unique in order to stick out because for cereal milks it's like just a generic white slime and for Dole Whips it's kind of a generic usually cloud cream cloud dough sometimes even thick slime so it's kind of hard to stick out but this one definitely stuck out to me and I think that's 
50% because of the texture and 50% because of the add-ins. Like I've said, she's so generous with the add-ins, so I love that. And honestly, pretty much every slime's texture has changed so far because of the add-ins. It kind of gives it just the tiniest bit of a texture difference. Not enough to where it'll change how the slime like inflates or anything like that or stretches, but in the sense that you could just feel it when you press your hands into the slime if that makes sense it's so hard to describe but it's such a nice feeling I also love the scent on this I will say I've never tried Dole Whip before um kind of late but um I will say that it, it's it smells probably what Dole Whip smells like I, I honestly can't tell you but to me it smells like pineapple and ice cream which I do believe is what Dole Whip is so I think it smells pretty on point I also loved mixing in the clay and mixed together. It still keeps that old-timey feel like I was talking about, but a little more smooth. Honestly, one of the best cloud creams I've had. If you guys know, cloud creams are some of my favorites, especially when they have textures like this. So you guys know I'm going to be playing with this one probably until it's dead. So this one definitely gets 5 out of 5 pajamas. This next slime is called Unicorn Dreams, and it is a snow fizz slime that is scented like cotton candy cake, I think. And it, like, the base of it feels like slime community snow fizz slimes. Like, honestly, I couldn't describe it any other way, but it's, it's like a soft snow fizz. Most of the time, snow fizzes are known for being not really necessarily rough on your hands, but they are very textured. And something about, like, soft snow fizzes... I, it's so hard to describe. It's like if a snow fizz mixed with a pillow. <laughs> but like, I honestly couldn't describe it any other way, but it feels so nice. But this one comes with little unicorn iridescent glitters, other glitters. It comes with the most adorable unicorn charm that you guys will see. And it comes with a blue slime that you get to mix in. Honestly, I didn't really know what to do with it, so I kind of just swirled it on the top, and I think it turned out perfect. I also want to say, like, look at those add-ins. I think this one had the most add-ins, and they were so awesome. So for the scent, this one was one of those ones that just hit my nose really weird, and you guys know I am the weirdest person when it comes to describing scents. So this one it smelled like cotton candy, it smelled like cake, super sweet, like really good, kind of perfumey-ish, but it also smelled almost like a like a really old home <laughs> kind of where a smoker lived but it's not bad if you guys have ever known a smoker or a pre like somebody that used to smoke um most of the time they'll have a unique scent to them and it doesn't smell bad it doesn't smell like cigarette smoke doesn't smell like cigarettes nothing like that it smells kind of perfumey but kind of old and stale it's so hard to describe but that's what it smells like to me there's like a slight like mix of that in this slime very slight like I could barely notice it but it's there I I I apologize for the weirdness of me describing this scent but that's honestly what it smells like but anyways when the blue slime mixed in it became even softer it kind of feels like a prickly towel <laughs> that's the best way I could describe it if you guys know towels have like a like a texture to it that honestly this is a weird confession. I used to bite towels when I was a kid. I just loved the texture so much. I'm, I don't know, but I used to bite it. So this one kind of reminds me of towels. And I will say, I, I low key want to bite this slime. I don't want to eat it. I just want to bite it. Like I just want to feel the texture. It's, it's honestly a weird. I don't even know, but I want to bite it. But anyways, it turned into kind of a purple color. For some reason, my camera was making it a little more dull than it was because it was more pinkish bright like and it was definitely brighter but for some reason on my camera it's picking up more of that purple which I do like but it's definitely more pink there is just a slight shade of purple which I love I don't even know how to describe the color but it looks so cool and everything else about the slime is so nice I will say 
because the snow fizz is kind of on the lighter side there is the tiniest bit of fallout it's not a huge deal honestly i think i only saw like three or four pieces fall out but i just wanted to mention it but other than that i love this one and this one also gets five out of five pajamas And the last slime I'm reviewing is DIY Rice and Egg, which is a clay slime kit scented like banana cream candy, and it comes with little clay and more sprinkles. I'll show you guys those in a second, but it comes in this adorable heart container. I need to use these for like a Valentine's Day restock because they're just so pretty and so aesthetic. They look so cool, but this base is like a semi-thick semi-foam with a ton of different size foam beads in it, and I just wanted to show you guys because it's like so crunchy and nice, and I will show you guys the three like sprinkle packets. Like the bag came with three more bags in it and it comes with like little iridescent glitters and sprinkles and then little egg femos like oh my goodness look how generous those are and this charm like there's an egg and rice charm how cute i also tried to make the little clay that came on the side look like a yolk because hello it's an egg slime so i, I tried it looks pretty cool honestly i think i did better than i thought i would but like it just looks so cool honestly but anyways I will say that those little iridescent glitters that came with it, I was very light in adding them just because I've had a horrible experience with them. There was several times I've added those types of glitters and they just poked the crap out of my hands. So I couldn't do it. I, could, I did notice that they were a lot softer than other iridescent like flakes that you can add into slime. But I, I was just careful because I was getting flashbacks of my hand getting poked, but as far as I could tell, the ones that I added didn't poke my hand, so I think you're safe if you if you get the slime. I think it's perfectly fine, but anyways, about the slime, when I mixed in the yolk, it looks honestly so cool. It reminds me of egg salad. If you guys have ever made it, it kind of looks like chunky, but mostly yellow, because like the chunk is from the, the white part of the slime i don't egg whites i guess um but that's honestly what it looks like to me and it becomes more of like a butter slime i was kind of thinking it would be the clay slime but i think it's definitely more on the butter side which i definitely prefer because it is so spreadable i will say i'm not the biggest fan of the scent it smells like banana candy mixed with like banana cream pie and while i do like the smell of banana cream pie i absolutely hate banana candy but i think it smells fine and it's a super light scent so it's not bad at all i will say for this slime and the last one those little containers that like the extra slime and clay came in they're not ideal for long-term use just because they really even if you just close it the slime will still dry out i'm just assuming because it's cheaply made but Hopefully you guys saw what the whip slime came in for dough whip slime. Even if you use that one, that's a lot better than these other two. They're just not good for long-term long use. So I would say either taking away some of that slime base or using a different container because a lot of people don't have extra containers that they can use. So a lot of time they are out of slime. I will say I do appreciate the extra little container, but I would say use a different one just because long-term wise, it's just not ideal. But other than that, this one does get 5 out of 5 pajamas. I love this one. But with that, that is the end of the review. If you guys want to check out her shop, it will be linked down below in the description which I highly, highly recommend checking her out. She's just one of those people that was born to make slime, and I am so glad I get to call her my friend. I love her so much. She's so sweet. And I cannot wait to do the next review for her, which will hopefully be soon, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, that is the end of the review, so I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.